hello friends welcome to my youtube channel today in this video i will show you how to use switch control in our qt qml application and how to use its basics property and how to use its events and how to customize or redesign our switch control in our qt qml application so let's start first of all import the qt quick control module in our application now here write the switch use id property to do to assign the name and also set the text switch now let's run the application so you can see the, the basic switch control is look like this uh, default style sheet now let's use this event so let's create the on check change event print your message when its status change you can see when i turn on this switch you can see the return value is true and when i turn off the switch you can see the return value is false so by this way you can easily use the uh, or get the status current status of your switch and now let's uh, redesign the our uh, switch control so let's write the indicator first of all and customize the outer outer rectangle of our switch control so say, let's set the uh, width and height first of all so width is let's set the 50 and also let's set the height height is let's set the 25 and now also say we have to set the uh, x location so here we use the left padding of and for y we use the our parent height and this divided by 2 minus our control height divided by 2 okay so by this way also set the uh, radius of uh, let's say the radius is 13 let's say the 15 and let's say the color also here so when our control is checked or our switch is on so here we set the two colors when the status is set or by default is let's set the uh, white color And now pick up any color for when status is checked so let's select this one let's also set the border color so when our control is checked so let's select the uh, same color and when it's not checked so then select this one you can pick up any color as per your need or as per your theme so now let's check it so you can see the outer rectangle is style sheet is set now let's uh, change or change the style sheet of our inner rectangle inner indicator so here we use the uh, re rectangle so here we have to first of all set the radius is same as the uh, uh, outer rectangle is and let's set the width same as the uh, for outer rectangle and height is also set the same as same as it and now let's set the x location of so here we use the our control check now let's set the some colors here so when checkbox is down so then select the white color and checkbox the uh, sorry for it when checkbox is not down then select this one and let's select this color here let's set the border color also here when my switch is checked okay now let's run the application and check it so 
so you can see the here is uh, something malfunctioning of our control so here we have to write the one more condition if our checkbox is down then we use this one otherwise we use uh, one different color so select any one color now let's run the application and check it okay let's change the color here and here we have to change the size according to our so let's set this 25 and check it so you can see the indicator so by this way you can easily customize the your uh, switch control indicator by use of indicator and rectangle and its style sheet also you can set the uh, text style sheet here so here we use content item this is the text style sheet so let's set the first of all text properties same as it is switch dot text and set the uh, font so use same as it let's set the color color property here so when this enabled when check my switch is down then select any specific color and otherwise select any one specific color so let's first of all let's use this color for it first of all and for second one use this color also set the uh, vertical alignment so use it text dot align v center and also set the uh, left padding so you we use now let's run the application and check it you can see the style sheet of your text color you can also set the font point size now let's run the application properties already has been assigned so let's now check it so you can see the style sheet of your font so by this way you can easily customize the your uh, switch control rectangle and indicators and text also and you can easily use the uh, events by this way one check change event and you can easily use the id property and text property and also use the font property for it so Please drop your comment if you have any questions about switch control in QTQML application and please share this video with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of new video and thanks for watching my video. Thank you.